Manchester United's dodgy transfer record has been exposed again, by Raphael Varane costing them £500,000 per game. The injury hit £41 million centre-back has confirmed he is leaving this summer after the Red Devils declined to extend his contract. Since joining from Real Madrid in August 2021, Varane has played 93 matches for United but missed 41. That's highly questionable value, not least as the Frenchman is a top earner at Old Trafford on around £350,000 a week. It's also a clear example of why the Red Devils minority owner Sir Jim Ratcliffe wants a new vision for transfers, starting at the end of the season. Ratcliffe will demand better value for money as well as long-term planning. Read more Man United NEWSRE United Man United treble winners reunite on red carpet after 23-year feud ended mega deal horse racing bet offer of the day. Get £30 in free bets to use today with Bet UK incoming sporting director Dan Ashworth will be a major part of that shake-up. Amid suggestions boss Eric Ten Hag's future is still uncertain Fulham's Tosin Adarabioyo has emerged as a surprise candidate to replace Varane. The uncapped 6 feet 5 ins Englishman, 26, was helped through the youth ranks at Manchester City by United's new technical director Jason Wilcox. TalkSport believe the Red Devils are keen to fend off Newcastle's interest in Adarabioyo. Most read in football footy rape footballer, 33, raped woman as she slept before sending explicit pic to pals cup setting major broadcaster loses rights to show FA Cup games after huge blow to fans final strawman United wags face having to fund own FA Cup final trips to cheer on their men bang out of order Arsenal fans fireworks stunt outside Man City Hotel massively backfires casino special, best casino welcome offers meanwhile, Varane insists Old Trafford will always remain special to him. He said in a video, to you guys, supporters of Manchester United, it's been an amazing few years to play for this special club and wearing that shirt. Manchester United's fall from glory since Sir Alex Ferguson the first time I went to Old Trafford as a Man United player it was insane, the atmosphere was amazing. I fell in love with the club, with the fans. You have to play for Man United to understand what that represents. For my kids, it's home here. It's going to be a special place for me for life. Sun Sports verdict on Man United flops Sir Jim Ratcliffe and Ineos have a busy summer ahead to get Man UTD's squad in order for next season. Below Sun Sport gives it verdict on how they should deal with the Red Devils flops this summer. Andre Onana, stay, after a dodgy start at Old Trafford Onana has proven to be one of the more reliable members of the squad this season despite being peppered with shots constantly. Altai Bayandir, go. Reports in February suggested Bayendir was unhappy with his bit part role at Man United amid interest from Turkish giants Galatasaray. If profit can be made on a sale then it should be done. Tom Heaton. Stay. Veteran goalkeeper Heaton, 38, is a reliable backup and is on a relatively small wage at the club. So long as he is happy it makes sense to keep him. Aaron Wan-Bissaka. Go. 
Juan Bisaka, 26, has never managed to make the right back position his own. With his contract up in 2025, it makes sense to cash in now. Diogo Delot, stay, Delot, 26, has been one of Man UTD's most consistent performers this season. Rafael Varane, go. If it wasn't for his injury record, there would be a strong shout to keep Varane, but costs need to be cut to allow the squad to be freshened up. Harry Maguire, go. Maguire has showed he has the right character to be at Man United, but overall ability and desired profile are another matter, with Maguire too slow to play in a high line defense. Lisandro Martinez, stay. Martinez, 26, is second to none in terms of build-up play. He needs a long-term defensive partner on the right side and to cut out the injuries which have plagued him this season. Johnny Evans, go. Veteran campaigner Evans could easily be on the stay list if he was only going to be a bit part player. But he has shown his advanced years at times this season. Victor Lindelof, go. Lindelof, 29, has been reliable if not unremarkable in his Man United career. He has one year left on his contract so should be moved on if a decent transfer fee can be got for him. Willy Kamwala, stay. He should be given the opportunity to mature for a few years behind a senior CB pairing before stepping into the first team as a starter or being moved on. Luke Shaw, go. One of the Premier League's best left-backs when fit, Shaw has been a good servant when available. But alas that has been his Achilles heel once again this season. Terrell Malaysia, stay. Malaysia, 24, was decent enough to earn some merit in his first season at Man United before injury ended his season and inadvertently led to his second season being a write-off. Sifian Amrabat, go. Amrabat, 27, looked like a world beater at the Qatar World Cup with Morocco. But H has had an underwhelming season in England and his loan spell will almost certainly not be made permanent. Casemiro, go. An alarming physical decline has seen him turn from key star to burden. If a club is willing to buy the 32-year-old, who has two more years on his contract, then United should snatch their hand off. Christian Eriksen. Go. Eriksen proved a useful asset and Ineos should look to bring in another player with similar traits, but frankly his legs have looked gone towards the end of this season. Kobe Mainu, stay. The first of the so-called untouchables, Mainu has been a rare glimmer of hope in the Red Devils midfield this season. Mason Mount, stay, Mount can be given the benefit of the doubt until summer 2025 at least after a debut season riddled with injury. Scott McTominay, stay, McTominay, 27, has proven himself to be a brilliant plan B off the bench this season, and that is exactly why Ineos should look to keep him. Bruno Fernandes, stay, 
Man UTD's best player since his arrival just over four years ago, Fernandez, 29, remains second to none when it comes to creating chances while his tenacity boosts those around him. Anthony, go. There's a case to argue that Anthony may be the worst pound-for-pound -pound signing in Premier League history. Despite some memorable moments he simply isn't Man United quality. Anthony Marshall, go. Ultimately Marshall needs to be let go when his deal runs out this summer after an appalling injury record of late. Marcus Rashford. Stay. As easy as it would be to say Rashford should leave the club this summer, it is difficult to look at the market and find many available players capable of scoring 30 goals a season. Alejandro Garnacho. Stay. Another third of the untouchables trio, Garnacho has made the right wing his own since coming into it. H is a raw talent but has shown he has the quality to improve. Rasmus Hodgland, stay, a slow burner in his first Man United season, the 21-year-old has often been starved of supply which has led to him being unable to get the goals his movement and unselfish play often merits. Ahmed Diallo, stay, in the fleeting moments he has been on the pitch for Man United this season, Diallo has looked dangerous and exciting. He should be given a chance to flourish with some proper chances in the first team across a whole season.